Oh my god, Polly, are you cold? Why are you shaking? Our apartment in the morning is always like super, super cold and we don't have heating, central and air and all that kind of stuff, so uh, it's California. Yeah, so we wake up and we're freezing, that's why I'm wearing like a long sleeve shirt and I got everything on. <laughs> but you're freezing. <sighs> Making some oatmeal this morning because I ran out of egg whites. I'm not too mad about it. Got some apples, brown sugar, and cinnamon. That's how you stir stuff, right? Yeah. You want to know how to get a dog to drink water if they're not drinking water? Throw an ice cube in there. <laughs> You're gonna get it. <laughs> No downside to it is she'll pick it up and then drop water spots all throughout the house. I don't care though. Gets her to drink the water. Today has been nothing but me sitting on the couch answering emails, working, doing all stupid stuff. And I don't want to bore you guys with that kind of stuff. So I didn't film any of that because I think it's boring. And I'm pretty sure you would agree with me. I just got done for, with a run, did my workouts, ran around. The little trail we have over here behind my house. And now, I'm going to sit down and answer questions that you guys have. Because I promised if I reached 7,000 subscribers, I would do a Q&A with you guys. Now I have over 7,000. I have like 8,000 now, which is freaking awesome. And it's growing, and I love it. And I love that you guys are enjoying what you're watching. So, I want to get back to you. Ask me some questions. Here we go. All right, it's time for the Q&A. I dressed up just for the occasion, so you know I'm not wearing any pants. The first question comes from at TFIO Shelby. What advice would you give to bands just starting out? Work hard, write the best songs you possibly can, and keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Play shows, do everything you can to, to be heard, even if it's just talking to random people on the street. Morning guys, you ever have those days where you just don't want to do absolutely anything? For instance, the mess is back on the counter and I don't want to clean it up. I don't want to do anything. I will take you on a walk though. What have you been doing? Oh my god, you're dirty. Have you been rolling around in the dirt? Oh, Poe. Here's a question from at Melissa Daily 21. What's something you do to stay healthy and fit? Currently right now, I don't show it in the vlogs, but to stay healthy and fit, I do Pilates and I also run. Um, long, not too long ago, I hurt my shoulder um, doing some like doing like T25 or something like that, and I've had to resort to doing uh, Pilates because it uses less shoulder. Also, do yoga. I do T25, Insanity, any kind of hit training, any all that all that kind of stuff. Most importantly, it's about food. What you put in your body directly affects the way your body looks. I'm making oatmeal once again. Not sure if you guys knew this, but I was reading online. I just clicked on something. You know how you like you internet search and you just find, you just like go from one thing to the next thing to the next thing. Um, that's exactly what I was doing. And I stumbled across a stupid little tip on cooking. And I'm sure some of you might do this, but some of you probably don't. Some of you probably don't even cook, but this helps. So if you take this here spatula, it's a drumstick, you see it? Because <laughs> I play drums. Yeah, if you take this guy, you can sit it right here so you don't have to like sit it on the table or leave it in there. Like, you, you leave it there, and if it drips, it drips back into the thing. Here's a good question from at he he Styles What's your worst fear? I don't know. Maybe not being successful, or that's a hard one. I don't know. I mean, maybe you know, being alone is one. Like, uh, on a less serious note. <laughs> Sharks. <laughs> Sharks terrify me in the ocean. I'm not a big fan of snakes, even though my name rhymes with it. Jake the Snake. I'm such a terrible fan. I didn't realize Manchester City, my, my soccer club I support in England, um, is playing a Champions League game right now against Bayern Munich, another team I really like in the Bundesliga. And the only downside to it, it's all in Spanish. 
but I can watch it. <laughs> I won't be able to understand anything, but I'll be able to watch it, which is cool. So I put my jersey on. This is their new away kit. I had to get it. I got my name on the back of it with my number. I should have been a soccer player. In another life, I am, I am a soccer player. There's, an, there's another Jake running around out there, and he is so good at soccer. This Jake, not good at soccer at all. I can play the video game really well, but not, <laughs> not I'm not good with my feet at all. Uh, honestly, in, in high school, I was a kicker, and I was a solid kicker. I'm actually nationally ranked. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm nationally ranked as a kicker in high school. Four-year career, I kicked 46 field goals. Fun fact. Uh, here's a good question from K Hart X. How did you and Jess meet? Jess and I met on Warp Tour in 2006. She worked for Girls Garage. It was the first time that our band was on the tour. She asked our band to do a signing at Girls Garage, and that's how I met her. I remember looking at her and going, "This girl's unreal." Also, so you guys know, Jess is kind of asked not to be in the vlogs, and in case you were wondering, that's why. I'm respecting her wishes, and so in case you guys wanted to know, that's why. So that game, I don't know if anybody saw that. That was ridiculous. Man City won! Yeah, what's up? That inspired me to procrastinate and push back my workout, and now I'm playing video games. Oh! It always happens. At Neon SDL asks, tea or coffee kind of person? Definitely a coffee kind of person. If you watch my vlogs, you know that I drink coffee every single day. Uh, and some days I have two cups of coffee. So someone today got a little dirty and kind of smells like manure. I wonder who it could be. Oh, you. You want to take a bath? You got to take a bath. It's time. You stink. You don't like baths. But we're going to take one. Ah, here's a great... I, I like this question a lot. Okay, Mel Rosario underscore asks, What's your favorite and least favorite part of vlogging? My favorite part about vlogging is editing every day and being able to sit back and laugh at all the stuff that happened and kind of relive it all. And I'm also documenting my life. Hopefully when, when I'm 60, 70, 80 years old, I can look back at some of these vlogs and relive my life a little bit. What's my least favorite part about vlogging? Boring you guys. I don't want to bore you with, you know, some because some days, I, you know, I'm we're all human and we don't like to do things and we like to sit on the couch and watch TV and sometimes doing that is rather boring and I don't want to bore you guys completely. That's why I've been doing it every other day. Come on. Come on. Up you go. No, I don't want to do it. Oh, you hate this. You're okay, baby. It's just soap. You're totally fine. Don't shake. Okay, let's finish it up, all right? We're going to rinse you off. Here's a really good question from Alexis Blue Box. What's the toughest part about being in a band? Uh, living with nine people on a bus is pretty hard. Um, you have nine different personalities that you're dealing with at all times and a very confined space. Um, imagine how tough it is if you have roommates, if living with one roommate or even four, now make it nine. Um, that's probably the hardest part about it. You kind of have to learn to get along with everybody. everybody. Um, but that's just the toughest part. It doesn't mean it's it's like terrible. It just means it's just that's something you have to deal with. Almost done, ready? Yeah. Ready? One, two, three, go! Ah! You don't have enough hair to do that. Hold on. You don't still you don't smell like manure no more. You don't stink like poo. Dude, you just fart. You stinker. At OMG Mus ass. How was your first FIFA 15 game? The first one I played, is that what you're asking? Because I dominated, and it was awesome. Not to be cocky, but I've been playing for a long time. I'm pretty good. Um, currently, my record is like 35, 7, and 6. Or 35, 7, and 5, or something. I've only lost six, five or six times. <laughs> oh, man, that does smell. Ugh. We'll talk about something funny. You know how farting, everybody does it. Even girls. Don't even lie. Well, farting in the shower is way worse. Why? I don't know. I don't have any scientific proof why. But everybody knows it stinks worse. And that's why I was saying, ew, her fart smells really bad. Maybe it's because there's water on her butt. And she blew the fart through the water. Is that too weird to talk about? Are we getting too serious right now? You're almost done. Just enjoy the doggy massage. Oh, yeah.
Oh, I love you too. You're free. <gasps> At Punk Rock Michael asked, if you were to get another dog, what would it be? A Boston Terrier, man. Come on. <laughs> that has been fantastic. And she is a little nugget of joy. You can quote that. She is a little nugget of joy. <laughs> crazy naked dog. Crazy naked dog. High five. High five. High five. High five. <laughs> crazy. You're crazy. Crazy naked dog. Crazy naked dog. Don't you chew the controller. Crazy dog. Ah. Ah. Did you poot again? You're crazy. And you're naked. Alright guys, that's it. If I didn't get to your question on the q and I'm really sorry. I'll do another one again, I don't know when, but sometime soon. So, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll get the invitation. So, uh, make sure you guys subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye-bye now. See you guys. Put yourself on the table. so weird.